very funny. That's right. And Paul calls it in 1 Corinthians 3, he calls it carnality. That's right. Carnality. You can't have a church split without having carnality. Amen. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I'm saying these things so that if anything does occur, God forbid that it should, but if anything does occur, we'll give it our best and know that we can come out triumphant. Yes. We don't let the, have to let the devil run away with us uh, or put, uh, well, whatever it is Amen. into our hearts that cause this trouble. I, I love uh, Psalm 133. And it's not because it's a short psalm. <laughs> Some people you say, you know, uh, we're in a hurry, well, grab a psalm. Grab a psalm. Say a short prayer. And uh, God bless us for it no more. And uh, let's be on our way. That's not it. But, oh, it says, right at the beginning, behold, how good and how pleasant yes. it is for brethren yes. to dwell together in unity. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, don't you feel so better, uh, much better when you're loving somebody than when you're uh, what, whatever else it is. <laughs> Don't you? Amen. I I feel yeah, there used to be some. I feel so much better talking about the good old way. I feel so much better talking about the Lord. Yes. Than I do talking about my brother and my sister. Amen. 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 Yes. Oh, hallelujah! You can't go wrong when you're talking about Jesus. <laughs> you, you really can. And, and at the end of that verse, that uh, psalm, it says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And then it ends up by saying, For there, 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 the Lord commanded the blessing. <laughs> and when God commands a blessing, you're going to get blessed. Amen. You're going to get blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Doesn't that tell us something? Amen. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Oh, I hate uh, church splits, Amen. as I've already told you. I vowed 60-some uh, odd years ago never to be involved in one, and it's never happened. I've kept my word. And I'm going to keep it till Jesus comes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you will vow to do the same thing and you'll put the boots to the devil, Amen. then we'll have no church split. We'll have no division. And I'm, I'm not saying, uh, I'm talking about church splits in connection with this congregation, in case you wonder, because there's church splits everywhere. Oh, I thought of it. Uh, how did our time go? Oh, we got a little bit of time yet. And I don't think your roast will, will burn before we're through. So uh, relax. Amen. 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 Praise God. For there the Lord commanded the blessing where there was unity. We all good. Pentecostal folk know the beginning of the second chapter of Acts. And it says that uh, they were all together in one place, in one accord. Amen. When God did one of the most outstanding things in history, and that is sending the Holy Spirit into the world. Hallelujah. They were all in one place and all in one accord. Now I don't know if the one place means so much. I think the one accord does so. 
You know, I, it could easily be God's not sending the revival to this place like we'd like to see him because we're not in that one accord. Amen, amen. That's because right. we're not in harmony with heaven. That's it, that's it. That's you know, we can pray all we like, but if God wants requires an adjustment in your life or in mine, it won't come. I've heard one do us any good. That's right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I hope you're all saying that. Yes. Does anybody know Lynn Evans? That used to be in the charismatic mood. He was used quite a bit as an evangelist, as a speaker, and so on. Well, anyway, he always preached on love. Yeah. Always. And I met him some years later uh, when I was traveling down through the States, and uh, he, he, he apparently was still preaching all, every time. Every time. You know, it used to be they used to uh, speak on the uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit and That's speak right. on tongues. Right. There was a man by the name of Barnett. He introduced the baptism of the Holy Spirit message to the uh, Nova Scotians, the Maritimers. Amen. And it didn't matter where he started out. It always ended up with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. <laughs> Uh, but this, but this Pentecostal preacher that Len Evans was speaking for, uh, he was crying out to God for revival. Oh, he was praying up a storm for revival. And uh, uh, Len, Len Evans ended up by saying, I don't think he'll ever get a revival until he starts treating, uh, treating his wife differently. Ah, God gets us sometimes right where we live. And uh, he, he's a practical God. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't go for any fooling. And, and he wants you to be genuine and, and to live the Christian life that he's given you. Amen. He does. Amen. And you have to live it in the home. Right. You have to live it in the church. Yes. Oh, you say, my goodness, not the church. Yeah, you have, we have to live this Christian life every day we live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and something I would like to bring out, because I can't bring everything out, but, uh, and I know you don't want me to. <laughs> Our relationship with one another is God's redeemed people are tied in very close with our relationship with the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, if you don't love your brother whom you have seen, Amen. how in the world are you going to be able to love God whom you have not seen? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. And when we come to the communion service, uh, uh, I, maybe I should put that other mic on, but the, the, the cross is in two pieces, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're looking at it all the time. And uh, the, 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 uh, the horizontal piece speaks of our relationship with one another and our fellowship with one another. The vertical speaks of our fellowship and our relationship to God. Amen. And, and to go together. You can't have a cross without both the, the, the vertical member and the uh, horizontal member, can you? And so we cannot have true fellowship with God if we haven't got true fellowship with one another. Amen. Now, it's, it's as simple as that. 